Morning. I got a lot of stuff to get done today. First and foremost, I'm going to go mail those packages. Uh, I realized I went back and watched a reading in um, a reading in builder's kit video for assembly, and I realized I made a mistake. I uh, I, I used the Geisley pins that came with the Geisley, but I should have used the NT rotation that came with the ADAC. That's what it's designed for. So I want to run it properly. So what we're going to do is correct that. Perfection. There we go. Okay, so now we got the appropriate empty rotation radian pin in there. He's nice and flush. And he won't be going anywhere. Where you going, buddy? Nowhere. But a training class. Okay, so that's cool. Now, next step is to uh, pin the gas block. Two set screws and a roll pin. Gonna need a roll pin starter. Let's see what size are you, pal? Actually, don't destroy these little bags. You're gonna find over. Sometimes you need them. Even the little tiny guys were screws and shit. First shot of winner. Yep. That should do it. Good. All right. Thank you, Roger. These things do work. <laughs> All right, so we got our set screws here. Let's go to the garage, season those threads, torque that barrel at the 40. Um, what am I going to use on the set screws? My Vibertech, here's the Vibertech. Okay, let's go to the garage. All right, let's get this barrel on there. Torques, season the threads. I'll go for 40. I'll do 30, 35, then 40. Uh, let's see. Hmm. What's the washer for? That's new. We got a bit. All right. So we got this already seasoned up with some umbrella. NTCs. That's good. I did the threads on both the barrel nut and the threads themselves should be good. Do I have a good angle here? I'm gonna make sure this is nice and tight. There's a slip. All right, let's give you a go, buddy. All right, where are we at currently? We're at 40, so we're gonna dial that back to 30. Solid barrel nut too. Like it. Thirty-five. Take you all the way down. Put a tiny little more. 
for the final throw. Should be fine, but give it a little bore coating. As that heat starts building up. That was good. Okay. Cast plot. See, that's with the circle. That's with a dimple right over the circle. But if you move it all the way in, that dimple's slightly off to the right. My gut says to run it all the way flush so it's full contact on the block. But the dimple seats just to the right. Almost looks like a quarter moon of available space on the barrel next to the dimple. All right, Mr. Shipley and the boys, I uh, recommend just aligning that gas port. That dimple is perfectly, looks like it's perfectly aligned with that gas port. So what that tells me, is I find it a bit strange, but I can't flush it all the way to the end. I need to do that. All right. Before we continue, I used a bit of umbrella to get past that hump. Let's brake clean it a bit, get some of that funk off. I need another rag. Paper towels suck. No, there's an old dirty one. That's good enough. We don't want lubrication on you, buddy. Oh, did you get, we gotta go past the hump again? <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, we know it'll go through, so let's just give it a little extra effort than we did before. Align that dimple, and we should be good to go. Wrong hammer. Oh, extra oomph on this guy. What is this? This is the uh, 12 ounce. Oh, you're, you're good. I don't know why it wouldn't push manually. Okay. All right, so you, sir. We're going to align you on the dimp. Now there is a slight space. So it's not full contact. It's not much. It's like a, maybe a sixteenth of an inch, maybe even a thirty second of an inch. But it's not all the way touching. You know what I mean? So I may have to have this pinned at some point. I don't. Where's this? Spy, spider Co. Good enough. I've had this one at all for years. They're not bad little knives, these spider cuts. Is that enough to ooze or what? Yeah, perfect actually. Just drops. All right, sir. Triple check. Mm, 
Gas ports are a little forgiving, but not much. They're off a little too much. That could lead to cycling problems and all that crap. There's got to be a better way. Okay, and I believe it said the best course of action when doing this is do the front first, then the rear. A few times I did it in reverse. Make sure that doesn't move. See, it likes to move a little bit. Let's try to get a little. Now you got the Vibratite blocking your view. Gap seems to be okay. That's a bit of a uh, head scratcher on that. It's like, you know, if I move just enough too far, you might have issues. I mean, so far, I haven't had really any cycling issues on my builds. Uh, things are shooting fine. But you want to be as precise as possible, right? Okay. Let's see if we can see that alignment for peace of mind through the gunk. I think it's good. All right, well, let's give it a quarter turn more so it's nice and snug. I should be using the fat wrench on this, I guess. So... You're good, brother. All right, after some trial and error, uh, I think we were at the right shim combo. Let's see if we can get a perfect 12 and 3. All right, after some trial and error, uh, I think we were at the right shim combo. Let's see if we can get a perfect 12 and 3. All right, so. Yeah, man, I think that's a perfect 12 and 3. Uh, that's it for this portion of the cringe show. Uh, get some more ballast on. Mighty fine, mighty fine. All right, let's go throw the rail on. And call this puppy done for now. It probably is going to get a... Uh, that ODG Cerakoted door, because it'll match the green. The radiant's a little different with how you, so when you push that pin out, it just pops out. Hmm, I'll have to watch another goddamn video. Back to the gun room. All right, we borrowed the knocks off of this guy. Now uh, we're gonna throw the VG. I think that aligns okay. We want that logo on the bottom, on the Noveski for now. Where does that leave you? With these shims, room to <clears throat> straight up and down. Yeah, that's a that's it. Cool. All right, Let's get you back on your lower. Strike mistake oil on this guy. I thought the uh, dispenser was attached to the thing. Wow, that stuff is thick. <laughs> Less is more, I'm guessing. You weren't kidding, guys. This stuff is uber thick.
careful with that. Sure, that falls and breaks, it'll shatter. It's probably why Roger's changing to this shorter, thicker jar. Let's put you here. Let's close you up. That's gonna last a while, that big guy, because that didn't take much, and it's pretty well coated. Synthetic into the cam pin. Oh man, it's like butter. Better and better than snake oil. <laughs> nice. Snake all rocks. I can already feel the difference. All right. Thank you for your sacrifice. I'll get you in lots as soon as I can. All right. So, got our washers. And here's what I wanted to do. I have things in these magnetic trays, so I have to run them through the demagnetizer a little bit. It is, okay. Rounded on one side, flat on the other. It goes in the rounded side. Yep. Alright, so we're going to have to do it this way. Just to get started. Come right. on tight, just in there. Our alignment, we're good. Everything's such a man that the detail and the quality of the construction is great. So we got hand tight, yeah, it's a little snuggy, yeah, good. I'll see if I, I'm sure there's torque specs somewhere. I just couldn't find them. I spent 10 minutes. These need to be monkey wrenched on, hand tight, quarter turn. All right, so this brings us to the final BCG selection and handguard. Uh, ADM has the Raptor SD. I'd like to be swapping that at the range for shots with the cam. We have our Mallard. ODG. FCD. Snake oil.
Ooh, slippery fingers. Don't drop that. It's almost 30 bucks for a little tube. Final recheck. Barrel nut, torque to spec, gas block, perfect. Knox tied to 12 and 3 with shims. Anti rotation uh, radiant trigger pin in place for the Geisley. And I believe everything else is copacetic. It's not staked yet, but like I said, we're holding off until I can do that with confidence. Uh, it's time to christen this guy. No goofy nicknames for you. You're the Radian Model 1. America. <laughs> The snake oil will saturate those walls pretty good for now. Gentlemen, my Radian Model 1 America style, baby. Oh, truth and justice in the American way. All right. Uh, do I want to throw that multicam black rain full size on here? I want to hold off and maybe snag an ODG 2.0 whenever they're available. It's my 11.5, great for CQB. I still might put an ODG Law Tactical folder on that and use that ESFH as an EDM redemption. That with a folder would be a great truck gun. Should hit the fan type set. Uh, do I want to steal the Who has the multicam block ring currently? Hold on. That's on the try up. And we're going to steal his emissary for now and his rail scales and ODG. I might even steal, if I can order a new set, these Daniels. Huh. All right, let's do that. Almost there. Uh, can't run the rail scales. Two of the analog pieces are kind of stripped. So I left those on the uh, dryer cover. And I can't run the emissary because that is a pick rail adapter. So I'm going to have to order one for M1. No big deal. And the rain is almost. Complete. She is. Still needs a hand stop. Alright. Radian Model 1 America style. This one definitely fucks. Or it will. Spread it on!
Oh, that feels perfect too. Put the Sandman next. This is gonna be a bitch. This is gonna be a badass bitch. Yes, sir. My controls are pretty. I, I need a hand stop just to edge back a bit. I'll get one. Dude, that uh, snake oil is really nice. Gonna buy you another bottle. Oh, that should last a while, though. I'm happy with this one, guys. I think this is a winner. Okay, who you are. That's about it. All right, uh, I'm grab a quick shower, shoot over, get Larry and Benjamin their boxes uh, shipped out, uh, and then we'll move forward from there. Thanks for checking it all out, guys. I appreciate it. Till next time, your boy, Jake America. Peace.